It is me, Pastella Nuda here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some super cute sumiko garashi bread. And these squishies are going to be inspired by the iBloom Chigiri Pull Apart Bread, which I will leave an image on the screen. But I'm just doing it sumiko garashi themed. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started and show you guys um, how to make these. So to start off, you're going to need some foam, and this is just foam from an old pillow that I have. But you guys can also use like car wash sponges and just any sponge that you can like, I don't know, find. Then I'm just also using scissors just to cut out my sponge. Okay, so I already cut the shape here as you can see. But I will show you guys how to cut this shape. Just going to make another one since this is a set. So you basically just want to cut um, a little square shape with rounded edges. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a time lapse of me cutting this um, piece of foam and hopefully you guys can learn how to cut it that way. Okay guys, so uh, I am done cutting my other piece and I try to make them as similar as I possibly can. But yeah, just try to make them like the same size and I think I did an okay job. Um, the thickness is also about the same, so yeah. Alright guys, so now that the cutting portion is done, um, let's just go ahead and paint these pieces. So. For mine, I'm going to be doing a Sumiko Urashi set, but you can pretty much do anything. You can do Mickey and Minnie. It can literally be anything that you want. So I'm going to do um, the little white bear and the bag because I think those go really cute together. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this one white for the bear. And then for this one, I'm just going to paint it pink for the bag. I'm going to be using some white fabric paint as well as some gloves that I got from Daiso just to, you know, make the process a little cleaner. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze paint all over this piece of foam that I just cut. And then I'm just going to use my hands just to spread it out. Okay, so for the little bag, I'm going to try to make a sort of like blush pink. I'm going to try to make that using some white. And also a little bit of red and pink. Okay guys, so here they are and I'm just going to leave them to dry and then once they're dry, I'm going to come back and just add the little like faces in. Hey guys, too. so it is the next day and I let these pieces dry overnight. So now that they are dry, let's go ahead and paint on the details. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and paint on the face and just the rest of the details with some brown fabric paint.
Now I'm going to go ahead and paint on the face of the bear as well. Alright guys, so here are the finished squishies and I absolutely love how they turned out. I think they turned out really cute and I also added like a little tail to the bear on the back. But yeah. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Pastella Noodle and also tag me if you actually make these DIYs. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Bye!